Hi, this is Doug Berger. You've probably heard the phrase, knowledge is power. Well, throughout my career, the best transactions in terms of customer satisfaction were the ones where the client took the time to educate themselves about the process. It's not every day that you buy a home, and even if you have purchased before, things change rapidly in this business. For this reason, I decided to put together this in-depth tutorial on buying a home. While practicality dictates that I can't teach you everything about the world I've lived in on a daily basis since 1978, this presentation is probably more comprehensive than any similar thing you may find on the Internet. As such, you may want to break it up into sections in terms of learning sessions. As you can see on this page, there are many more reasons to own a home besides simply pride of ownership and not having to answer to a landlord. There are also a number of beneficial financial reasons. There are five distinct phases you go through when purchasing a home, and this is how I have broken up this tutorial. As you can see from this chart, phase one is to get educated. By watching and learning from this tutorial, you will be in a much better position to end up happy and satisfied with both the process and the end result. While it's tempting to jump right in and look at homes, it can actually do you more harm than good. Most of us tend to gravitate toward homes we can't afford. Then, when reality sets in, what we are looking at can be disappointing. Also, the better homes that are priced correctly tend to sell fairly quickly. If you haven't gone through the first two phases, you may see a home you're interested in but aren't really ready to make an offer on it. By the time you are ready, the home is gone. Don't set yourself up for disappointment. Learn the process and then move on to phase two which covers the preliminary preparations you need to go through before starting to look at homes. In this tutorial, I will take you through each of the five phases, teaching you what you need to know and giving you inside tips along the way. The colored rectangles represent people involved in your transaction at any particular stage of the process. As you can see, there can be 15 or more different entities taking part in the process to get you from point A to point B.